As our Black History Month coverage continues, tonight we're highlighting an important piece of black education at College Station. The former Lincoln High School for College Station's black students now stands as a public community center for many different events. Six News reporter Andrea Ribe takes us down memory lane of what the school once was. The Lincoln Recreation Center holds decades of memories, as it was previously known as Lincoln High School, the social hub for College Station's black community. And for Black History Month, we have a former student who goes down memory lane with us. Although the school's motto was forward forever, backward never, Faye Daly is looking back on a time when her high school peers were her family. It made me feel real great, you know, to be able to be among people, you know, that cared for you in the community, community as a whole, you know. We just, there was a real closeness, you know, that we cared about one another. One of her greatest memories was being part of one of the last graduating classes of Lincoln High. I was a class of 64 and I was crowned Miss Lincoln in November of 1963 and that was a great, great night. You know, I didn't realize that I was going to be the one to get it. Her time at Lincoln was nurtured by mentors who cared about uplifting their students despite their circumstances. Some of the teachers, there are some teachers that were looked like more closer to me and they wanted me to really excel and do and I still remember those memories, those ones they have passed on, but they always look like they wanted me to exceed and thing. You know, I didn't ha I was I was unfortunate to be able to go on to college because, you know, you know, my, the financials and stuff like that away was. Daly found success in several different careers, including working at Texas A and M University. I was determined to put forth the best and try to be the best that I could be with the help and the, with the education that I did have. Her lessons from Lincoln made her capable of making the most out of life, and she passes these lessons on to the future. Sometimes I tell my grandchildren, great grandchildren, what I had to go, endure it and go, you can do it, you know. Don't complain and just go on because you can make it. If I made it, you can make it. For Six News, I'm Andrea Uribe. What a great story. Thank you so much, Andrea. In 1980, the Lincoln Recreation Center was dedicated and has since served as a tribute to the school that once stood in the same site. Faye Daly still visits the Lincoln Center with her peers and shares those stories with everyone. For more information, visit KCNTV.com.